Hi, it's Eliana here, and today I am going to be discussing my SSB 60 and back, episode two, about the cloning facilities. So that is the topic of discussion for today. Uh, my experience is what I know about cloning from planetary corporations, what they do and what they don't do. So um, when discussing cloning, I had several people ask me a question in regards to this in my experiences. And the question was, um, when the age regression is done, is there any type of um, cloning that happens to you when you're returned? Um, are you returned as a clone or are you returned as yourself? Um, and the answer to that is when the age regression is being done, it is usually the original body of the SSP asset that is returned to Earth, not a clone. Clones are only made if the SSP asset somehow died during their service and could not be brought back from the brink of death. So SSP assets are usually not returned home to Earth as clones they're returned in their original bodies uh, as long as they haven't died and they're alive they will be returned in their human bodies back to earth when their age regressed so if the ssb asset was cloned they would need to be a perfect first generation or third generation clone of their original ssp asset with the best dna imprint on file in the planetary corporations genome databases on their uh, supercomputer mainframes and uh, the genetic databases attached to the holographic medical pods or in some cases clones are made in regeneration tanks as well on planetary corporations so if a clone is needed for some reason the original SSP acid died uh, they weren't um, able to bring them back from the dead if the cybernetics technicians cannot bring somebody back from the dead then they will send back a clone potentially if that's required um, but it's not normal to send back clones it's not how it's usually done clones that are not first generation can have glitches and malfunctions with memory lapses and behavioral issues so the cloning has to be done in a um, perfect process with the best DNA imprint of the original person. So there is no glitches with the clone. So there's no issues because that's very noticeable if the clone is having glitches. That's why it's not first generation or third generation. It's something in between then if it malfunctions because the DNA is not perfect. It's not the original DNA imprint of the person. If, it's, if the DNA has been copied over and over again, then it's not going to function as the same DNA of the original. And that's when you have glitchy clones um, with memory lapses and behavioral issues. The clones are able to go through the time travel dilation jump gates because their DNA is the same as the original person from whom they had been cloned. So again, it has to be the original DNA imprint from the person. If a clone is made, they still have to have their original DNA to be able to go through the time dilation jump portals on the Mars bases. So the cloning process can be completed through the holographic medical pods and the regeneration tanks as long as there is the original DNA imprint on file of the person being cloned. So that's how that works. Each time a person is cloned, it has to be from that original DNA on file. The same batch of DNA that made one clone cannot be extracted from it again and reused in the cloning process as that degrades the clone and it will not function correctly. So cloning on planetary corporations is very much dependent on having their original batch of DNA from the person that they plan to clone. It always must be a healthy batch on file. 
a clean, healthy batch in order to make first generation and third generation clone that will function the same way as the original person with their memories, traits, characteristics, everything intact. Um, because again, the clones, they must function as the original person in order to pass if they are sent through um, age regression and time traveling back to the, when the SSB asset was still, was first taken into service from Earth to Mars or other places. So again, the cloning is a very specific process and it's done in a very specific way to make the clones. It all depends on having that proper DNA batch from the original person to do the cloning correctly. Um, and Planetary Corporations has many cybernetics laboratories attached to the various Mars bases with different cloning facilities for, for making humans, for making uh, different uh, ET human hybrids, um, for making also animal chimeras and hybrids through cloning process. Um, so there's not just humans being cloned, there's uh, genetic experiments being done on to make ET human hybrids and to also make chimeras, animal ET hybrids or just purely bred animals from different species to combine to combine their genetics and see what happens. Um, and sometimes there's forms of uh, robotic AI that are also created and cloning is part of that. So it really depends on what's being cloned and why. The robotic AI, uh, sentient avatars, those are rare. And sometimes a human soul will be put into that for temporary duty, uh, for whatever temporary mission an SSP acid is on. But it's usually um, a person's soul is put into a biological human cyborg body that's augmented with nanotechnology because that body functions the same way as um, it's, it's a duplicate of the person. Uh, their DNA is matched correctly, and, but it, that's not a clone. That's a biological human cyborg body. So it's not created through the same process as cloning is. Of, of a being, it's a different process um, because it, it involves nanotechnology. So those are the various uh, cloning techniques and options for bodies that Planetary Corporations does and their various facilities. And this is done on Earth too, in Antarctica, in underground facilities on Earth. Uh, research labs run by run by black ops programs so it's 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 not just done on planetary corporations it's done on earth too in antarctica underground facilities all over the planet um and it's not public cloning is not public because on earth it's illegal officially on mars it's not illegal um it's done openly so I just wanted to discuss that in today's episode two of my 60 and back of what I know about cloning and what I remember about cloning and planetary corporations. Thank you so much.